And Stephen, I want to show you a mess. It's right here on Mellon Street, and it's going to become an icy mess as this water freezes. Yeah, these are water main breaks, and it has been a problem here for businesses for months now. The water is flowing on dicks from at least two water main breaks, and it's running onto Mellon, making a mess in front of the Star Grill. Owner Mike Mahale had shovel in hand, working to free the drain from the snow and slush that's turning to ice. I'm concerned that, like on the other side, that the water will come into the building or undermine the building. This has been repaired across the street and here four times, because they shut your water off when they do it. This down here has been fixed three or four times, and this is all in the last year and a half, two years, and um, it never stays fixed. Mike Berger is branch manager of Bell Forklift. You know, everybody on this corner. I mean, we're all at, at some kind of risk, and nobody seems to want to do anything about it. He's been calling the city for months to complain. His business is within a few feet of the break, and he sees the potential for a huge problem. It probably won't hurt this roadway, but it's where it's coming up over there is where it's going to hurt, because that's going to undermine the soil underneath there, and you're going to have a hole there. A sinkhole. A sinkhole. And one of these trucks, you can take 9,000 gallons of gas. There's some trucks that come by here with a lot more weight on it than 9,000 gallons of gas. But the gas tankers are the ones that concern me because they're explosive. Potentially a big problem, and there's an awful lot of industrial traffic and traffic from uh, the Marathon uh, plant here, no question. You can see the uh, water that is here, it is standing, it is a problem. We placed a call to the Detroit Water and Sewerage Department today as well, left a message, received no call back. And again, these businesses, they've been calling since October trying to get this problem resolved. We'll stay on it and report back when finally some action is taken. For now, we are live in southwest Detroit. Dave Llewellyn, Channel 7 Action News. Yeah, it's been a long